Hello everyone, welcome back to Sweet Tooth Saturdays, a series I created where every Saturday I basically take a piece of candy or anything sweet at this point and I transform it into a magical anime girl. So if you have a, your favorite piece of candy in mind and you want to see me draw it into a pretty girl, then yeah, leave your suggestions in the comment below and then, I don't know, maybe yours will be picked for next week's episode. <laughs> Um, also, today is Halloween, so happy Halloween. I don't know if any of you will be celebrating it or how you'll be celebrating it this year since, you know, 2020 is kind of crazy like that. For me, I have to work today, so not much of a Halloween. <laughs> but I do have some candy that my mom bought for <clears throat> the kids when they come trick-or-treated, but we're not really doing trick-or-treating this year so it was just an excuse for us to buy this large piece of candy bars without making us feel bad <laughs> so of course since it is halloween the candy i had to choose was candy corn i don't know how many of you guys like candy corn but i hate it i just it's just bleh. it's just not good i don't know who made candy corn like the symbol of halloween candy but no it's just not good i don't like it <laughs> I do like the little marshmallow pumpkins. I don't know how many people know what I'm talking about. They're like cousins to uh, the candy corn. Those are really good. I love them. But candy corn here, it's literally a candy corn. I made her dress to resemble a candy corn as best as I could. In fact, it is actually a candy corn. The frills at the end of her dress are actual candy corns. I thought that would be cute. <laughs> I gave her a big hat, um, cause she is like a witch, cause you know, Halloween again. She is a witch, so I gave her a big witch hat and I just put like pumpkins and candy corns instead of just the generic like black witch hat, cause I want to be unique and fun. <laughs> um, she has of course long sleeves in her dress and of course I had to get her, give her like um, Halloween colored black and orange stripes stockings because it is cold it is cold in october so she has to wear warm clothes in fact i'm recording this a day before halloween so on a friday it's snowing here <laughs> where i live so it is very cold and she needs to dress warm for her magical day of fighting crime or something in fact actually i made this candy corn is actually not really a hero per se she, I wanted her magical like powers to be kind of funny because you know how like every magical girl they have to have a weapon or powers she doesn't have a weapon in fact the only power she has because she is a witch she can only create these cute little candy corn monsters so she can create them and she wants them to be evil because she wants to be an evil witch but they're not she's not she's one of those like villains that try so hard to be like so mean and evil but all her like bad intentions turn out to be really good in the end and she ends up actually helping people more than she wants to do <laughs> so she's one of those villains she's actually good but she wants to be evil and her little minions kind of take after her they're so cute they want to be evil just like their mom but they can't be <laughs> So yeah, she, she's a good, she's a bad but good witch. Um, Candy Corn is definitely a funny character. And I just gave her little triangles, I almost said squares, <laughs> triangles on her dress because I didn't know what else to put. I just didn't want it to be yellow, so I thought that would be really cool. And I gave her a little Candy Corn necklace. I think, I like to think that's the source of her power. So yeah, this is Candy Corn. As a magical girl, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next week. Bye!